Yes. Hi. Welcome. Hello and welcome back to the will I laugh or just get angry and yell at the camera challenge. <laughs> the last video and first video I did like this was almost a year ago now and I just felt like doing it again. I don't know. I didn't want to do it too close to the last one because I wanted to give time for new content to develop, which could be a good or bad thing. I don't know. I do have to go out searching for these TikToks because they don't show up on my For You page. I kind of, I guess subconsciously, but not really subconsciously avoid them that side of TikTok or any platform really. Not necessarily for the content itself, but the comments, I just can't do it. <laughs> because again, for some reason, it's all about inclusivity and good vibes, only say nice things until it comes to people with disabilities or in my case, what I've seen the most when it comes to little people. Except it's not acceptable, but in those comment sections, you would think that it is acceptable with like, I, I'm gonna stop. You get the point though, I talked about it in the first one. As someone with a platform that is part of this community, um, I, I just wanna give my thoughts, you know? If you're new here, if you didn't see the last video, if you've never watched one of my videos before, uh, hi, I gotta give the little, you know, spiel. I'm 23 and I'm four feet tall. When I was born, there were no other documented cases like mine. Um, I was born with chondrodysplasia punctata, which is a bone condition that uh, prevents your bones and cartilage cells from forming properly. In, in the womb, as a baby, I, dude, all my life I still don't fully understand even what my own body <laughs> is, but I try, okay? Yeah, we're just gonna uh, look at some hashtags again, scroll through them and, and see what we find. Hello. Hello? It is time for to shape shit into a slightly different outfit for the sponsor segment of this video. Well, maybe not with you in the background. We have an OG sponsor today, my brotherins. You already know. It's Raycon. <laughs> you got an attitude for no reason. You ever wanna be outside around people, but not feel like you're outside around people? Or maybe if you wanna listen to something really weird and still have them not know that you're listening to something weird, here you go. Raycon. Listen to something weird. That's not their slogan. Maybe it should be, guys. Oh! Now that the world is opening up a little bit more, traveling is slightly more possible, and Raycons are, for me, essential when I'm traveling. Starting around half the price of other premium wireless earbud brands, Raycons are truly the best wireless earbuds I've used. I've tried other ones before, they just have not performed as well as these. The sound quality is genuinely so good for the price range. One of the biggest things that stands out for me with these is the battery life. They last up to six hours of playtime. And if they do need to be charged while you're out on the go, you can just put them back into the carrying case and they charge inside of it. And even for someone with my little ears, um, they fit great. They don't fall out. And you know that seamless Bluetooth pairing. You just press the little button, it says pairing mode, and then that's how you know. <laughs> Those are the worst <laughs> explanation. It's easy to pair, okay? As I always say, my close personal friend, here he is. Who? Oh. To endorse them for me oh. and you. I told you guys we were friends. And if for whatever reason you're not satisfied, Raycon has a 45 day free return policy. So click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash Riley to get 15% off of your Raycon order. Thank you so much to Raycon for continuing to sponsor my videos. And thank you guys for supporting the brands that support me. All right. Oh yeah, we had a shape, 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 shape shift back. <clears throat> Go. We're back. Did that work?
I'm sure the camera moved. Um, but yeah, ew. <laughs> There's always a moment in these videos where I remember what I'm about to do, and it kind of stings for a second, and then I get on with it. You can't beat me in basketball. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fine. Seems consensual, which is key, right? Let's check the comments, though. Oh, yep, here we go. The caption is, could you beat her at basketball? And the top comment with 2,000 likes, yeah, I could, just flick her and then she's gone. Cool. I wonder what it smells like. She's dog water? Is that like a reference I don't understand? Dog wa what does that mean? Is that a slur? Dog water. It's a Fortnite slang? When a Fortnite player says you're dog water, they mean you're very bad at the game. This term is similar to terabad, and it was coined by a Fortnite YouTuber named Milk. <laughs> Look, no shade to Milk. Okay, but, okay. Hey guys, Trini Dixie here. Do you want to see where Brett's not being a little person? Yes. Personal. Hey, Brett. Yes. Okay, guys, we Oh my God, she's so cute. The comments, though. Let's let's, let's see if they, they pass, pass the vibe. The vibe. <laughs> okay. These are nice. First of all. I love... <laughs> I'm curious the height of your parents. <laughs> okay, stop. These people are just wondering, Taylor. Stop. They don't know. I have to laugh at comments like that because half the time, like, the height of your parents has absolutely nothing to do with it. I've seen little people with parents that are, like, six feet tall. Like, it, it's not about that. It's, like, a genetic thing that goes wrong scientifically. You know, there's no dwarfism in my family. I'm the first one! Yeah! My dad is like over six feet tall. My mom is like five foot, but she's not a dwarf, medically speaking. You know what I mean? If you didn't know, sorry, I don't need, I don't need to be defensive about it. It doesn't always have to do with what your parents have. Sometimes it just happens. But I mean, if your parents are dwarves, then yes, there's a much higher chance of their child being a dwarf. Also, not a doctor, not a scientist, not a geneticist. Don't listen to every single thing I say. I'm just going off of my, what I've heard throughout my life. Yes, girl, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. Hi, my name is Dylan. I am 4'1". Yes! Uh, I am 20 years old. I have what's called dwarfism. Yes! Um, specifically, achondroplasia. Yes! Um, there's over 400 different types of dwarfism, and achondroplasia is the most common type. Characteristics of somebody with achondroplasia is, um, you know, both legs, you know, both legs, um, a big head, uh, more brain up in there. Yes. Uh, I cannot straighten my arms, so like I can't, like, uh, that's all I can do. Um, I had scoliosis, so I had to have back surgery. So, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yes, Dylan. Dwarfism Awareness Month is in October. See, see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just a little bit too far removed from my own community, I think. Another reason why I like watching these is interesting to me is because I haven't personally known very many other fellow little people in my life. Like, I've definitely met a few. And what's even funnier is all of my closest friends are like, not just average height, but like tall. But yeah, it's just interesting to see my people, you know, because I don't see them that much around town. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's a thirst trap. Yes! Comments, though. Okay. Nope, they're good. Okay. Well, she liked it, so that means she think it's funny. Okay, I mean, if she thinks that's funny go off, but yeah. why does she low-key seem really chill? What does that mean? Like, what? <laughs> hey guys, this just in, if you're 
under four five, you're not chill by default. So sorry to break it to you right now. But majority of the comments are good, so solid. So I'm inside of the old hype house and a little person is running around with money that she stole from my wallet and I want it back now. And a little person is running around with my wallet. Huh? For this? Yes, give it back. Hey, please, come on. I need that money. What the? Where are the two of you? Wait, do you have oh, money too? <laughs> I don't know how to feel. <laughs> they were in it willingly, I assume. So, like, it's kind of funny though. <laughs> Just because of the picture. Little person. The intensity of which he said, a little person. Yeah, we're so terrifying, bro. What? Yeah, guys. Yeah, um, that's true. Actually, every time I take a bath, there is a man standing outside the tub, um, playing violin for me. I just, he's, he stays, uh, in the closet. I'm practicing butter by BTS. Yeah, see? He's ready, um, and he just comes out and, you know, uh, I also have a bubble gun and I wear swimmies. So the caption says, would you like to join? And then a comment says, no, it's a little person. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Dude, do you do stand up? people hello i'm used to the getting stared at thing so like give them something to stare at dude huh what oh <laughs> okay that's everything i wish i could relate to that um i mean it's okay <laughs> what happened to Ooh. hello <laughs> yes how are you my name is. What happened to that? That's so good. Oh my god. That was a good one. That hit me in the soul. Yeah, that's uh, the best part about dating apps, too. If you want to stay oh. friend, never do this Queen! to me. This is the only hand that should ever touch my head. Never pat me on the head. Cute, precious, or adorable should only be used to describe puppies, babies, or kittens. You can call me cute. If you would have called me that 10 years ago, I would have hit you in the face, but... I kind of, I'll take it. What I hear when people call me cute is I can get away with anything. Like, oh, I'm cute. Sick. I'll just run away and you'll never see me again. What? And please don't assume that we all know each other. Cause we don't. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if just every dwarf knew each other? Just, oh yeah, that's George. Have you met before? No, I just know that that's him. she's literally calling herself a door I think she's just saying that she's a little person you know what I mean and like that's fine but th this just brings up a thought that it's actually really I don't know if insulting is the right word but it's it's kind of invalidating when someone that's just kind of below average height is like oh my god I know exactly how you feel meanwhile they're like five two which yes that's very short it's shorter than average but that's still like a whole 12 inches taller than me. When you're in that range, it's kind of significant. So no, I know you're trying to make me feel better, but like, that's just not true. <laughs> like you don't know how I feel. You don't appreciate the try, but you don't. Again, no shade to this girl. She's living her life. Example 
of what I've talked about before with the word midget, where um, unlike a lot of other bad words in society, I think that midget is much more of like a personal thing, how an individual feels about that word. Like, I don't like it, but another little person might not mind it. This guy, his name on TikTok is literally Midget Man. And then his picture, oh, that's wholesome, is him in like a Superman outfit and it says Midget Man, just be you. You know what, I respect you, man. Oh, and I definitely couldn't lift a tire, even off the ground, let alone out of a shopping cart, so. Good for you, Midget King. <laughs> I feel like I just insulted him. <laughs> <sighs> That's cute. I was gonna die. <laughs> Just because the ca they're talking about a baby, right? Like, oh, they're, oh, they're a little person, like their baby. Cute. But the caption says, so in love with you and our little person. <laughs> Could you imagine if they just had, like, me standing there? <laughs> or just, like, a, they just, they're taking these pictures, and instead of, like, a pregnant belly, it's like... <laughs> So I'm like the only one on my friends list that I know who's had sexual relations with a little person. I don't think you're allowed to say the M word on TikTok. I don't want this video to get taken down. Man, that little bitch rocked my fucking world though. I met her on Tinder and I had no idea she was a little person. Yeah, that's right, she catfished me. She only had pictures of her face, but her face looked skinny and I wasn't worried about her being fat. But never did I expect she was going to be a little person. But she didn't tell me. And I like getting drunk during the day and giving pussies. Charming. <laughs> Prince Charming. Get in line. I realize, oh shit, you're a little person. I love also, hold on. Back up. I love how, like, he would have said midget. Hmm. <laughs> I go to her bathroom, I stare in the mirror, I ask myself, what kind of fucking man are you? Then I rock that little girl's fucking world. Ew! Well, okay. I hated that. The ending. I rocked that little girl. Ooh, I'm gonna throw up. Please, what are the comments? Ooh! Oh! Oh! She commented on it! It was Coors Light, actually. And feel free to tag me next time you make a video about how I rocked your world. Give credit where it's due. I love the internet. What did he say? Oh my fucking god, bro. I saw what it tagged you. I just didn't know your TikTok name. Plus, you got me blocked on Snapchat. Yes, she should, you fucking weirdo. Hey, Megan, what's up? You want to drink some Curse Light? Because I'm fucking down again. Yes. She has you blocked on Snapchat, and you just completely objectified her on the internet. But I'm sure she'd be down to have a little Coors Light with you again. Sammy Goo-Wop. I get off at 3.30, poo-poo. You just let me fucking know. This is why I'm staying single for the rest of my life. Oh my god. Oh my god, people are saying she's pregnant. What is happening? Um, alright. I think that's enough for today. I think we got a good mix this time of anger and laughter, which is how I like to live my life. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Just be a decent human being. That's all I'm saying. It's not that hard. Just because somebody looks different than you doesn't mean that they don't think the same way and are just as aware of you as you are of them. And by that I mean we see you. We. When you're like whispering and stuff, you're not slick, King. We, we've we had like an eye for that shit our whole lives. I know what's happening, I don't even have to turn my head. It's a superpower. Anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. And I will see you next time. Love you, bye.